Hi, in this slide we're going to look at what I call uh, lenses that will help us to define our niches. And starting from left to right, uh, let's look at five different lenses that will help us zero in and make the art of niching a science. First of all, we're going to look at customer profitability rank reports. Looking at the top 10% of our customers that give us 95% of our operating profit, we're going to say, who are these guys? And we'll say, well, that guy is a certain segment of customer, or that customer buys a a total solu process solution that comes from our number one vendor of something. So sometimes it's, you know, if you're a contractor supply thing, you're selling a residential uh, small repair electrical contractors as opposed to commercial industrial contractors as opposed to you know, utilities on a fill-in basis. Those are common segments within a, uh, you know, the electrical channel, for example. But when it comes to motor control automation solutions or <clears throat> passive components that are electrical in nature that go into an OEM manufacturer, you, your definition would be more of a product process orientation than, than just a you know, customer you can find in the yellow pages kind of thing. Um, and then we'd say, well, obviously, the, all these first guys are A customers, very large guys. Where's the boundary line? Later, I'll give a bill to cases to $400 in margin per month, you know, to qualify for outside sales coverage and, and A accounts get outside sales coverage. So they're profitable. They fall in this particular category. Uh, what strata are they in? Why do they buy from us? Are they buying out of loyalty, even though our service is uh, inferior and our prices are higher? Are they a value buyer? And clearly 80% or more of all customers really are value buyers. Some are strategic, meaning that they're very innovative and they've said, let's work with the best guys and make them part of the process and create win-win supply chain solutions. Some are more passive. They sort of say, well, I just buy from you guys because you're easy to do business with and you know intuitively I think you've got pretty good service. And some guys are sort of a very aggressive. They're constantly shopping the price, you know, saying gotta be more competitive, whatever, but they're not pure price buyers. Only five to ten percent of humans are pure price buyers. Most of them wise up pretty quickly and become value buyers of a different stripe because they fall into bargain price, bargain service, bargain price, huge supply, they're price traps. Um, but these guys will, will get identify the two or three best service providers they can find and then kind of play them off once again each other in that little margin war. So this helps us to zero in on parameters to define the niche we want to go after. Thank you.